welcome to school of civil engineering in my previous video i have made a mistake to define diaphragm in building and uh, in this video i'll correct that and i'll show you that how it perfectly defined a diaphragm on building so let's start First of all, I will open my previous model. Here is my previous model. If you are following my lecture and my tutorial series, then you know about this model. And from a starting to end, uh, we have discussed about that. So here we will define our diaphragm. So first of all, I will show you that in which way I will define our diagram that will make mistake. So suppose here select f3 apply ok here you are seeing that one story one story so if we select that like that way i mean first story we have select and here i'll assign diaphragm so first of all click here diaphragm define diaphragm head d1 show or modify diaphragm D1 and read it. We have still we have uh, considered that our building is rigid building, not semi rigid. Okay, then okay, then we'll go for assign shell from here diaphragm select D1 and apply. Here we're seeing that our diaphragm have been assigned. So if we go in toggle view so from here if we go in toggle view and if we change that here, we're seeing that this floor also connect with the landing connect with the landing but it's not okay for diaphragm diaphragm only will be applied for that floor only the floor so now we'll go for check our model so analysis check model select that select that and okay you're seeing that it has 2016 showing us a warning Horizontal DJ diaphragm connection found between joint at different elevation. Please check. Okay. And it's not showing any other warning. So close that. And again go. Plan view F3 apply. Okay. And pre select. Now we'll remove that diaphragm. So to, to remove this diaphragm again we have to select similar way or we'll use pre-select because uh, previous uh, sometime ago we have selected that so go here assign shell diaphragm and non apply and okay here we're seeing that diaphragm have been removed now we see in 3d from here we're seeing that there have no diaphragm it's showing d1 d2 it's nothing nothing to worry about that so first of all from bottom we'll start defining our diaphragm first of all go to grade bin apply okay so from here we'll assign our diaphragm first of all select from here you have to select that option coordinate a specification click joint in x y plane and after that you have to click here you're seeing that wall x y plane have been selected it will just select only x y plane then we'll go for assign shell diaphragm d1 apply 
again we will go upper floor so from here again select from here coordinate specification xy plane and select here apply again on upper floor and select from here select coordinate select click join xy plane and click any of the plane click here and select d1 apply again similar way select 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 here apply again go upper floor select here click here press select apply and go upper floor again select here click here and apply okay uh, we have applied it all of our diaphragm in our building you are seeing that now we'll go for check analysis model check select that and that okay this time you're seeing that there have no diaphragm warning showing in our building so in this way we'll be able to defend our diaphragm and assign our diaphragm without any error so thank you thank you very much as well as the corrected till next video